let's try this again. So I'm going to go to the sand dunes this weekend, I believe. And uh, in order to do that, I don't have time to do the U-joints. So I'm going to uh, just pull off the drive line and do the... Uh, Pull off the drive line and do the carrier bearing and I'll do the U-joints when I get back. So I'm just gonna mark this. And uh, we'll get this off of here. All right, gonna mark this so that I get it back where it needs to go. guys marked marked and marked that way I don't get these screwed up and then while I'm at it I'm gonna mark this too All right, all of them are indexed together. <clears throat> Yeah, well, it's 11 sixteenths, and uh, I'm sure it's on there. And this side. Okay. Oh, sorry guys, bumped you. Should have got an extension for this. If you're going to do this, grab an extension. for the grease on my hand. Look at that. Look at boss. Uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, front or the bolts out up here real quick, which means I'm gonna need a socket or a uh, a um, opening wrench. Jeez. All right, guys. I hope this isn't blurry, but it may be. piece go here it is that goes back there that goes over there all that good shit all right guys so one of the things you want to do is try not to get jeez all right guys one of the things you want to do is not get dirt all over this if you can help it um Going to be replacing the carrier bearing and then we'll do U joints later. Alright, guys, gonna take this off. Maybe not using that. All right, maybe we'll try some box cutter action. Yeah, that works quite well. That was easy. Alright, got that off real easy with the box cutter. Alright guys, I'm going to try to drive this off. Don't know how important that was. it off without having to get a puller out. I screw the shaft up. No sorry. Huh? Alright guys, so got this Timken bearing. You need to know the part number. It is HB8850 A is an alpha. Um, it's the right bearing, I believe. It doesn't have exactly what my other bearing had, but, um, and it, I am a little suspect that someone may have previously installed it and then returned it. I can't verify that. It looks pretty new. Um, I, I found this, uh, inch and a half schedule 40 PVC that fits this piece pretty nice. Um, this was on, can you see that? Yeah, this was on mine, and this goes on the other side of the bearing, so uh, I'm going to try to reinstall it that way. So, get this thing positioned here. 
and get you guys so you can see it. Okay, let's get you up in the air so you can see it. All right. And I'm just going to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to set this on the concrete. Hold on, guys. All right, we'll see if we can get this on with just some PVC without shattering it. so far all of a sudden it came up hard will that fit inside uh, no it won't it started to go on real easy Oh yeah, that went right on, wow. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh, on there all the way. Make sure it rotates like it should. Yeah. Sealed against the... I'll get you guys back up on the table. So the way this Timken bearing works, let me take you out of the wide mode here. The, the rubber seal actually runs on this face inside. Now this is an 06. Get you back to one here. This is an 06 F350. And that rubber seal runs against this face. So I also sanded that face with um, 400 grit sandpaper. I had some grooves when I hit the other one off as you saw in the video. So I did that, I did this circumference with 400 grit and just polished it up. Uh, went on awesome. I mean, this thing just went straight on, no problem. So real happy about that. We're gonna get this thing back inside the truck. Talk to you in a bit.